Hey, how's it going? It's just driving back home at the end of the day and such a beautiful evening here in Long Crendon. I thought I'd stop off and take a stroll and do this video outside for a change. A um, couple of things today to check in on, um, both observations, actually kind of both from Toastmasters as well, um, but, but not completely. So yesterday I was, uh, <laughs> I did a video where I was describing and teaching how to do a burpee for complete beginners. Uh, actually, it's on this uh, this very channel, and I did a. It was for one of my pro for my beginners' guide to bodyweight training program. But I also wanted to do one that I could just sort of put out there for everybody. Um, uh, and I put up on LinkedIn, I put it on Facebook, <clears throat> and here on YouTube. But as a part of doing that, I transcribed it. And as I was transcribing, which I'm doing manually, it's actually quite it's quite a it's quite good fun doing it. And you learn a lot about how you speak when you're transcribing how. The sentences are structured, or rather, should I say, rather unstructured <laughs> when you're speaking and you're writing down every word and utterance that you say. And it was that and something that somebody said in Toastmasters last night about how when I'm in last night's speech in particular, because uh, that's when I was being evaluated on, uh, I was picked up on my, my probably how much content there was in the, the presentation, the talk, and how it might have benefited from a couple of extra pauses. And this is something that I'm aware of and have always been aware of, that I can speak at a million miles an hour because I get really excited about things. And when I do that, when I, when I do bring pauses in, the difference it makes when I'm listening back to the, the, uh, a, a video um, or I listen to other speak other speakers and I hear them put pauses in the difference it makes so I had those two experiences of the the transcription and somebody commenting on something I already know and this is the thing when it's feedback that matches what you already know it can sometimes be a little painful to hear but in this case it wasn't it was a you know that's a that is a really good point it's something that's actually quite easy for me to do something about and I normally do when I'm giving a proper talk <laughs> I'm, I'm very conscious of slowing down and putting in more pauses. I'm not doing it deliberately now, I promise. <laughs> Just because I'm talking about it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's something that, it's something that I'm, I'm definitely, um, I, I'm gonna focus more of my attention on. So the other thing, that was the one thing. And the other thing that I've been uh, thinking about today and the last couple of weeks really was some more feedback I had from Toastmasters. Um, everybody fills in a little evaluation slip at the end when they've given a talk, and I gave a talk a couple of weeks ago, about three weeks ago now. And um, I'm I'm usually quite uh, expressive when I talk. I use big, expansive gestures, and it normally works quite well. So it adds. Uh, I've, I've been complimented on my gestures before, um, but at Toastmasters, where we're meeting at the moment, it's actually quite a small room, and somebody. Um, Deanne had had commented that, that actually you know, I, I might want to experiment with slightly less expansive gestures in such a small room because it's almost it's almost like overwhelming because um, I'm six foot two I'm not a small person so using really big arm gestures uh, is you know sort of quite quite um, I guess intimidating wasn't the word that she used but that was the the sort of impression that I that I had from it and I'd never even thought about that that in a smaller room possibly more appropriate to use smaller gestures so I experimented with that last night in my talk and I did use smaller gestures I was conscious of it I used some bigger gestures but kind of fewer of them so yes feedback feedback is a wonderful thing if you take it a, in the spirit that it was given, and uh, B, actually do something positive with it, an experiment with doing something. I think when you get a feedback in it, it does somewhat match up with your own view of yourself and your own kind of uh, understanding of how you do things. Sometimes, if it's not really, really good feedback, it can be a little uncomfortable. But I've, uh, I've certainly learned over the last couple of years, had that big experience with Momentum three years ago, where I didn't really feel like I'd done an awesome job, to be frank. And um, the feedback, some of the feedback reflected that, and it really kind of knocked me for six. Uh, but since then, I sort of really figured out that, that this is really is an opportunity to, to, to get better, and that's the, the, the only way to get better, really, is by doing it, learning, 
seeing how it lands, listening to how it lands on people's ears and their, um, you know, the impact that it has on them. And you, okay, you can only really get that knowledge by getting feedback. So it's a wonderful thing. Anyway, there's my, uh, there's my check-in for the day. Lots of pauses not just for dramatic effect. Um, I will be back again with more tomorrow. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment if you want to share anything and check back in again tomorrow for another daily update. I'm off to enjoy the rest of this wonderful evening. Bye for now.